Hi, my name is Joni Isinger. Welcome to my channel. Please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com for more information about me. I'm a professional psychic, medium, healer, and guide. If you're interested in having a session with me, contact me through my website. You could find me here on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Press the bell all icon for all notifications when I put out a video. And if you haven't seen for one for a while, please go back and check. It seems that there are some shenanigans going on and people aren't getting notifications. Other people are being unsubscribed unwillingly. I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, and I am also on SoundCloud. So with that being said, I wanted to do a video about telepathy. Telepathy is a birthright that we have. It is our divine part of us, and we all are hardwired to be able to be telepathic. It is the way we roll. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because for, oh gosh, uh, the past several years, uh, telepathy has been galloping forward in my life and in many of my friends' lives. And I would say over the past week, I have had so many synchronicities regarding telepathy with someone that it, it was just undeniable. Okay, backstory. When I first began awakening around the early 2000s, I was reading a lot of channeled material. And those that were bringing in the information spoke of what was going to be happening at the shift. I never thought that the shift was going to be happening in my lifetime, but here we are, folks. So it's happening. And one of the aspects of the new earth coming into this great awakening is telepathy, that language at some point will go to the side and we will be communicating mind to mind, telepathically with our thoughts. And I thought, how's that going to happen? We have people all over the world. We have billions of people and they speak their respective languages. How's that going to happen? And it started. Also, I don't know exactly when in the late 2000s or early 2010s, I began speaking light language. I didn't expect that to happen either. And then I found that there are others around the world or we'll say across this reality that also became downloaded, gifted with light language. So telepathy is also part of this, as well as people coming into speaking light language. What is telepathy in my book? I believe it is when you are thinking about someone and all of a sudden they arrive or they send you a message or they call or vice versa, that a person was thinking about you and then you contact them. And this is, I believe, mind to mind. It is a, a syncing up of two souls that I believe were communicating in another realm and then were brought together here because we're still in a third dimensional physical reality with a lot of 5D cosmic stuff going on. Another type of telepathic experience is where someone is communicating with you. They're either in person or they're on the phone or you're texting them, emailing, and as you are about to respond, they say what you were about to respond to or vice versa. So again, we have this Vulcan mind meld. We've got this joining up of two souls, two consciousnesses that are having communications and the synchronicities show up in third dimension. So I would suggest uh, turning your switch on a little brighter, uh, putting out the intention that you'd like to be more aware of the telepathic synchronicities that are occurring in your life. And I believe that with the curiosity and that intention that you put out there, you will start experiencing more telepathy. You might already have been experiencing telepathy, yet you didn't know what to call it. Now, 
I want to also explain the difference between ESP or extrasensory perception or mind reading and telepathy. Telepathy is communication where you are having some type of a joining with another soul in the ethers and it comes down and manifests in physical form. They show up, they ring the doorbell, they text, they call or vice versa. And the person or you go, oh my God, I was just about to say that. I was just thinking of you. Mind reading or ESP. I believe that the um, mind reading is in a very slippery slope along with remote viewing where I believe that you could be blocking someone's free will and crossing a boundary. And that is a cosmic ability that we have, yet I believe that if people are utilizing that practice, um, they are breaking the free will line and moving into a privacy uh, issue. Uh, many people, when they learn that I am a channel and a healer, they go, they get nervous. They think I'm reading their mind. And that is a fallacy. Uh, people who are psychic don't read other people's minds. If they do, they're playing in the dark. Um, that is not the way my crew, those that I know, operate. Um, there are others that have the gift, yet they're playing in the dark. And they might think that um, mind reading is, is just fine. If a person hasn't given their permission to have someone go in, then it is blocking their free will. It is uh, breaking laws of, of the universe and it incurs negative karma. So back to telepathy, I'll share that um, I called one friend and she said to me, her first response was, I, I'm on such and such road, passing such and such building. I just saw someone that looked like you. I never, ever think that I see you, nor would I think that you would be there. And I looked and I saw my phone was ringing and it was you. And that happened the same day as another friend where I went to dial her number on my phone and she called me. She, before I could even finish dialing her number, there was her name and she was calling me back. This has been going on like contractions over the past week. So I thought I would put it out there because I'm wondering what's going on here um, if there's a quickening. And there are others that are experiencing telepathy more and more. So that's all I wanted to share. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And if you too have been experiencing telepathy, or if you have any questions about this, please comment below. Again, if you have requests for future videos, please comment under any of my videos. And if it is video worthy, I would be happy to make a video for you. I hope this assisted you. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.